Hello guys, welcome to my page. Uh, today we are gonna see uh, the easiest way of building a carousel in a website. Uh, I I was researching for a carousel. I I, I was uh, building a, a website uh, with Material UI, and uh, I have googled something in uh, how how can I uh, build an uh, easiest carousel. Uh, with material UI so I have researched something uh, some some of them was so uh, complicated uh, I have tired so much so I when I keep uh, keep up with the uh, researching I have found something let me show you first so we will do the example uh, in a few minutes so let's start with uh, when I uh, start to starting to research uh, I have uh, I have found this web page so uh, when I uh, research it when I checked it out uh, I can easily uh, change the side buttons so now bar uh, the navigation buttons auto place uh, s s some of these uh, changes but but uh, the most important uh, web page that I found is uh, this one. So this one is the best and easiest carousel in Material UI in my opinion. So uh, let's check it out. Uh, this I will share this um, web pages and other things uh, in under the comment uh, section so uh, first of all you have to install um, the mater material UI mat first and material icons material styles the three of these um, of the uh, uh, three of these uh, should be downloaded first so uh, after these uh, you have to install a React Material UI carousel. So this is this is what I want to show you. Uh, let's uh, go to the GitHub repository. So uh, the same uh, installments can be seen here. So we will uh, after the downloading, we will use this example. So let I will show you how it can be easy, easy. So uh, let's begin with. Uh, as you see, uh, there is two functions uh, in in the example. Uh, the example in here and function in here. So we will we are gonna build two components. So let's begin with. Uh, I have installed them already so let's start it under the component uh, folder I will uh, build a uh, let's say carousel carousel JS and let's snip it yeah uh, one more folder item JS so uh, carousel let's put a carousel one so this is the carousel uh, let's copy this one let's copy this one yeah so I will not use the paper and button in here so uh, I will use other items I don't want to use the uh, templates in here uh, as you see, we can see the carousel tags in here. Under these tags, uh, uh, I have mapped the item, so I will change it a little bit. So let's uh, build, uh, let's say, this carousel. You can say example. It it can be uh, stay as an example. So item, item, we can show the function item props we will get the props um, what else 
and paper and button I'm gonna use. I will use this. Uh, so, item. I will use. I will uh, import the item uh, from the item. So I will use the item component in here. Let's do it. Item component in here. Uh, let's say just item. Let's just say just item. It is not items. I am. Uh, I I have prepared a slider JSON like this for for uh, specify the uh, carousel images and IDs and titles as well. Uh, so we can say we can import the uh, like API uh, import slider from a helper and slider JSON. I will use this JSON slider in here slider.map item so item k will be uh, item dot id it comes from here the, these id so carousel it k item a id and i will send the props as an item like this so i have uh, i have to export default right export default default example Let's change the name of the person. It, it's, it's not. It is not necessary. So let's get back to the items. I will pull the item props uh, in here. So I have to export default this one. Default item. Yeah. So let's check it out. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, I have put the item. I will use the item in here. So what else? Item that title we can say and item that image, right? So uh, what were the items? Yeah, it's in here. I don't have to use the paragraph in here. So about the H2 tag, I can use uh, item that title and image I can say from the source I will use uh, item that image right item so let's continue with else uh, item that title we can say so one more thing uh, I will import all of these components especially a carousel import carousel from uh, components and carousel let's use carousel Let's use carousel. Yeah, this is our carousel. Let's adjust it a little bit. Yeah, this is our carousel. So we can uh, we can say what else can we say? Um, style. So and height height will be uh, fifty wide, fifty five vertical height. Let's say so we can 
let's do it um, let's do it like this we have open a div inside uh, um, map you can say uh, or container um, description yes description and under this description we can assign uh, this item title so style style uh, display flex display flex justify justify content center yeah, that's all we can assign a variant. We can assign a variant. Primary. We can say all. Uh, what else can we say? Let's find out a button with components. Button. How can we say the contained? Variant contained. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's our um, that's our checkout button. You can adjust the button uh, in the middle of uh, the container. You can do it like this. So, just the align item center. We can we should say. Items center align items center uh, and flex flex direction flex direction color yeah that's can do it uh, like this or yeah so you you see this one yeah this is the best and easiest carousel you can adjust uh, at whatever you want whichever you want uh, thanks for watching this video uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, and like this video thank you so much see you on the next video